Bar room here again, back with another video. This is me turning my laptop on console. Douchebag guy sides are still hacking me and trying to screw me over and hit me with that subliminal bull crap. But you know, I'm still getting that W. Anyway, a console is a form of computer that does not have any form of network connection. Actually, there's two consoles. One console is designed for getting on a network to do any remote service or to check the routing configurations. But usually, those consoles are really used due to the easiness of being hacked. So usually you use a console without any um network configuration on it, just the ability to connect to it. Right now I I am going to remove my network interface cord or my YLAN cord due to this being a laptop that had only one thing. This is the YLAN cord. One you can tell by it stated on there, and usually if it didn't stay on the the wireless signal in airplane mode is right here as the keyboard. And you see two plugs that go directly into the monitor, but you also see a plug that goes into the USB drive as well as the integrated circuit port. Usually the YLAN core or the NIC core for laptops are usually right near the power source or the intake of power, which is right over here. And it's tracing down right here to power this. The reason why there are this many wires because the black is neutral, the other black is ground, the red is the positive wire, the brown, I mean, the brown one right here is the wireline wire, the yellow one is the freaking circuit wire, and the white one is the monitor wire. I know for sure how these make these because usually the companies have their own version of it. I wonder if this is this is the monitor control system here and usually this is how you place the monitor on a laptop or a computer but usually you have a heat sink which is just copper heat sink is an item that takes heat away and direct it towards something else so this is the RAM as I stated before as you can tell this is the RAM because it was something that can just snap out but on electronic level you can see this IBM right here and it has two Hold on. There we go. You see four IBMs. And each of them have a aluminum plate on the side stating what service it does for catch speed. Now it's the same thing for this part right here for RAM. You know random access memory is holding Temporary memory or catch process speeds while the ROM is located right here. Underneath this freaking monitor, I don't feel like taking it off yet. As I stated before, I'm going to remove this network interface core, stopping all network coming into the computer to make a console, part one of it. And that's pretty much it. Not much I need to do other than going through it.